going on, my friends? And welcome back to Kanawada Shoujo. Last episode. This newfound interest in Emmy's well being. Right here for you, boy. Does that tell you enough? Are you a pirate? Because you just stole my heart with your booty. <laughs> Yeah, that sound was kind of awkward. Not necessarily completely complaining, but still, it was kind of fucking awkward uh, laying on top of her like that with the gigantic raging boner that we had. I don't know if that's been settled down yet, though. Let's find out if it has. Let's get back into it. Woo! I mean, you're through the day events, none of which are particularly engrossing, except, hey, the nurse, man, the nurse. That was interesting as fuck. That's when I'm distracted by an arm uh, finding its way across my waist. Oh, uh, what? It seems that Emmy fell asleep while I was talking, so I draw a blanket to cover us. To us. Wait, to cover us. What the fuck? You gonna spend the night there, boy? <laughs> There's so many fucking CGs in this place. Okay. There was the one with her uh, little legs dumped. The one where we were on top of her, and now we're sleeping. And holy fuck us out. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Your face! It's like, what the fuck am I doing? What do I do right here? Oh god, it's a girl. <laughs> she rolled over on uh, to her side, and now one leg thrown over my legs, effectively trapping me. Well, you're spending the night whether you want to or not, boy. Hey! It seems uh, a shame to wake her, but I have, I have things to do, man. I have people to see and things to do. I swear! It's not like I'm always complaining I have nothing to do, but today I do! A gentle shake her, but in response she uh, only tightens her arm's grip on, a, on me and sighs a little. My resistance position crumbles rather quickly. Yeah, you don't ha you're fucking saying no matter you want. <laughs> the feeling of her body breathing steadily is both calming and incredibly stimulating at the same time. My boner's getting even bigger! My breathing cannot decide if it wants to relax or speed up. That's normal. I understand that one. Relaxation wins and I find myself uh, putting an arm around Ebby. Okay, boy. I think I'm in love! It's the power of love! The words slip out as I hang uh, and hang in the air unnoticed. Hey, your face! It's actually different and it's like, now I know what to do! It goes in there! <laughs> At least I hope uh, that they've gone unnoticed. I didn't want her to know it! Emmy whimpers weakly through her dream and grips suddenly finds again. Aw, oh, she's having the nightmares. For the first time ever I've known her, I see tears and doubt. Okay? Okay. Feels like my heart's about to break, yeah. Um. Okay, why? It's not, you be concerned, boy, yeah. I simply tighten uh, my own grip and stroke her hair in what I hope is soothing manner. Words of comfort are meaningless in the situation spring to mind, you know, because she's, uh, she's kind of asleep. I don't think she'll hear them. Maybe I should wake her. Are you supposed to wake someone who's people having nightmares? I don't remember. I know you're not supposed to if they're sleepwalking, but I don't remember nightmares. I can't for the life of me remember. The decision is taken from me as Emmy suddenly jerks awake with a cry. Ah, uh, okay. Nightmare's about the papas. God, I said last time was awkward. This is even more awkward. God. <laughs> this is uh, more than I could think of I wanted to hear without her uh, knowing. I quickly sit upright and a gentle shake her shoulder to stir her. Yeah. By the time you fucking wake her, she... Yeah. Okay. Hey. You okay? What, what a silly question. What else are you supposed to fucking say? What? <laughs> Uh, his out? She shakes her head as if they clear quickly by tries. Uh, 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 you, had, you had a nightmare, I, I think. I'm not sure. It's, I don't know if you're having a nightmare because, you know, your eyes are, like, streaming like fucking waterfalls. But I don't know if it was a nightmare. I may uh, shudders again and glances up at me a little uh, cautiously as if unsure whether or not she's actually up. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you, uh, you, you want to talk about it? Eh. 
Uh, a speedy internal debate seems to be going on in her head, which resolves itself with a with a shrug. Nah, I don't really remember much of it. Bullshit, I'm calling bullshit. I'm pretty sure she's lying to me, yeah. But somehow, I don't think I should press the issue. Amish uh, shudders again and turns toward me, looking a little sheepish. She turned into a sheep, all right. Sorry for falling asleep on you like that. I keep up my voice as soothing as I can. I'm gonna go. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right. I'm prepared for it. Hey, don't worry about it. You've been ill. Was, was that it? You got, you get? Was that it? Yeah, that was pretty good. Is there anything specific you liked about it? It was very smooth, and I liked it. Yeah, yeah, I guess uh, that cold medicine should uh, make me a little drowsy. Uh, I guess so, don't worry. I'll protect you, girl. Oh, yeah. Emmy does not strike me as the sort of person that would fall asleep at a drop of a hat. Well, maybe, but I made far too fucking energetic for that. Emmy gives me a half smile at the response, and then just like that, she's uh, back to her old self. Well, prepare, uh, prepare yourself for tomorrow morning, Asao. Well, we're gonna go twice as hard to make up for today. But I went running in the this morning! Hey! Huh! Yeah! Huh! I went in, I don't know why I did that. Shut up. No excuse! Oh, fine! I'll be ready for you! Fucking do this shit. Me nod, satisfied. Good. I had a gigantic fucking voice crack there. I take this as my cue to exit. Well, I better get going, especially if I want to get enough sleep for tomorrow. I'll hop off to bed and head uh, head for the door. Hey, so. Yeah? Hey, what up? I pivot nearly uh, the heel of the face of Amy. She opens her mouth to say something, and then in another first, I see her falter slightly. She closes her mouth, opens again. Okay. Uh, thanks for dropping by, I mean. You're kind of the first visitor I've ever had who wasn't Ren. Now that's surprising, I would have figured Emmy would have people drunk by all the time. She's certainly popular enough, so or so I thought, always uh, talking to people in the hallways. Emmy hesitates again. And thanks for staying around after I, uh, well, a look of pain. She looks across her face. This, okay, we're gonna get some fucking drama in this round later. You know, it helps. She brightens back and leaves uh, cheerily at me. See you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya, see ya. I'll just uh, about to exit the door. Something makes me turn around again. Hey, Emmy. <laughs> mm? Anytime you need to talk, you let me know. Okay, I'm a, I'm a good listener. So I am. I can listen and shit. Emmy seems to uh, taken aback by this offer. Her grin gets even wider. Is that even fucking possible? Sure thing is out. See you, see you in the morning. All right, exit room with a head in a whirl. Should I have even left? Yeah, it probably would have been a good thing, yeah. Was she really okay? Probably not. I want to turn around and march back down the hallway, open the door, and tell her. God damn it, okay, okay. Goodbye me for her, for just for a tiny bit. Tell her, I love her. I think she's beautiful, tell her that. That's when she needs me. I want to stay with it. Hold it close as fall to the back of sleep. How many nights has she woke up like that? Only to find that nobody's there. I want to be that person she can be with when that happens. It's a silly thought I know. We don't know each other that well, do we? The whole idea while exhilarating also makes me feel worried. Well, perhaps that I'd overstep my Bounds. And now, to add to my troubles, it seems that as if Emmy's herself already has an interest in someone else. This track captain of hers who seems to be interested in her well-being. True, I've only seen her two of them together a few times, but that doesn't change the fact that they seem better suited for one another. There's all red. There's really nothing to be done about. I need to take my mind off this whole situation. Ah, <sighs> okay. Internal monologue done. That wouldn't hurt my throat a bit. I've got some homework to do. Maybe that'll distract me. Alrighty.
No head, no, no orchestra this time. Alrighty. Woo! Ah, keep going. A night of restlessness has left me feeling fairly groggy this morning. The events of the previous day keep intruding upon my mind. The murmur of how Amy felt against me. The memory of our wrestling match. And most bothersome, the memory of a nightmare. She was in so much pain. I can't stop wondering what it would, must have been like for her to wake up with nobody there. God damn it, I can never enter here the same again without thinking of someone else. Okay, this sound, I like this song a lot. The shower shocked me awake with hot water awake, but still worried. What will happen today? Will things go back to normal? End of the, of the episode back to the status quo? With the connection of yesterday, something that nearly pushed us past the boundaries of normal friendship. My rage and boredom. I, I almost wasn't able to contain it. Would that have been bad? <laughs> My mind back and look at Annie's eyes after our pillow fight almost seemed like she was telling me to go on. Almost. I can't know for sure. The track captain's probably busted in their fictions, <laughs> But even as I say that, my mind is already snorting uh, deepestly. Like looking for an excuse, so there's a real pretty reason for anything to go wrong. A reason to not try. It's not as if we've ever seen the two of them together outside the track practice. And clearly, he's never visited Emmy since that as much, much herself. If they were close, surely he'd visit. I'm such a goddamn wuss! I had to go back for it anyway! Damn the consequences! Fuck it! Fuck the consequences! Fuck the logic! Kick it to the garbage! Do the impossible! That's what Emmy would do, I think. Hell, I know that's what she would do! Which is partially why I'm convinced there's no interest on her and she hasn't acted either! Maybe because of this drag captain, it's bubble seats, but it got crushed by going on. But that would be able to clarify their relationship. God damn it, it's hell, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm sure as hell can't be Emmy. She's probably just laughing, asking why I wanna know, and I'm not ready for the astronaut at all. Ren, Ren would probably just give some cryptic answer or something, and then with my luck, she'll just ask Gabby, or would ask me, and I wanna know, and they can only confirm that, that, that pop hole problem. Whatever, fuck it, I don't care if I burbled that, it's stupid. I wonder, can I get away with asking the nurse? He seems pretty protective of me. I'm sure he'd know if something was up. And he owes me for not letting Emmy know that I forgot to tell him about uh, being ill, so he'll keep quiet. What if he asks me why I want to know, though? I can shake him off and just say I'm curious as a friend. You'll buy that, won't I? Of course! It's settled then. After the run, I'll talk to him while Emmy's waiting outside the office. God damn it! There's no sign of Emmy when I arrive at the track. Is she still too ill? I decided to give her 10 minutes. I'm a little early, and she was ill yesterday. So, if she's taking a while to show up, it shouldn't be surprising. Still, I would hate just to waste my time, so I priced myself with stretching, pacing back and forth, like it's just, okay. What if I went too far yesterday? Alright. What if she doesn't go because of the bow? What if? Oh. Well. I'm stupid. Alright. I'll talk to you all again next time, son.